Hello and welcome to this mod first look video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the wood shelter set by Castor and DS Agri Services. The wood shelter set has five open wood shelters available in it, so let's jump in, no hesitations, let's go. So the wood shelter set is very much of a European style, although we're going to be using our American map for the for the showcase. They are almost in a similar vein of, if I scroll back to the top actually, of the, I believe it's Horman, of the Horman shed. So they're in that, in that vein of of sheds. So they'd look great probably on um, a Central European, continental European um, farm, German, Austrian, that sort of place. But they, they're absolutely beautiful, great details. So let's get them in. We have, like I say, five sheds, two of which are sort of the same, but they're flipped from left to right. Um, coming in, we have the smaller shed that has um, a five euros pound dollar upkeep. Then we have a ten euro pound dollar upkeep, fifteen, and then for the two large ones, they're both eighteen per d per day on their upkeep. So I think what we'll do, we'll get the big ones down just to make sure we've got the space. So this one is the wood shelter with bulk box left, and these can only be uh, rotated in 90 degree increments i think that's because of the tip on the on the bunkers so you see we've got the bunker there so if we put one down here we're going to have a lot of shadow while we look at this left to get the torch out and then if i go for the next one you'll see we have the bunk on the other side but we'll just pop that behind it we'll uh, have a look at both of them then we'll have our smaller shed 48 pounds euros or dollars and these ones can be rotated 360 degrees place them as and where you please then we've got the 62 which is then um, sort of three bay and then we have the longer larger four bay we'll pop that one at the back let's like say then we've got the two they are the same 95 and they've got the bunker so let's get down and have a look at them so I've got my torch out just so we can see the sun is just in the wrong spot for these tutorials. I need to let time roll through. But as you can see, we've got great detail on these. The wood shelter pack, and like I say, it is by Castor of the uh, DS uh, Agri Service. And these are really, really nice. Really nicely done. I like it's like pine wood panelling. I'm sure it's not pine, but it looks absolutely lovely. Great detail. The roof as well. I like how we've got the interlocking beams. If you've watched a few of these, you'll know that I do love a beam. And look at that work in there. That is really, really nice. And in here, you can dump any materials you like. Loose, stick it in there. All gravy. But that's that's why I think that we can only lock this in at 90 degree angles is for the tip piles. Because these are the only ones that do it. They're not nice... Uh, Metal fixtures on the footings there to protect the wood beams. And again, I like how it's all come together. I like that we've got that slightly cutting in there. As you would. As you would. ba -bum But yeah, really nice. Lovely. Plenty big enough. Nice and deep. Nice and high as well. You can get anything you want in there. Anything you like at all. Absolutely massive. These are gorgeous. I can say, definitely a little bit more European, but you could you could put these on your American farms. There's no one saying you can't. You can put whatever you like wherever you like. But these are really nice. And, uh, so it's exactly the same, just on the right hand side bunks, just so you can set up however you wish to go with your farm, I guess. So then we have the the two bay, not to be confused with Oop Bay. That was the last game. We've got the two bay, and same design, same look, same feel. You could set yourself up a really nice European farm, a nice dairy farm with some some big halls, lots of storage, plenty of bales, plenty of machinery. Really nice. So this three bay one. Then they're not overly priced compared to some of uh, base game sheds. These. These are definitely worth it. Look at it. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. D 
detail in it. And we've got the four sheds. Look at that, four base shed. That is massive. The amount of machinery you can fit in there. What was that? Under under ninety grand. Can you get a base game shed this big for under ninety grand? This is beautiful. The work on this. Yeah, it's it's very much. You know. FS19, FS22, but it's dialed up, it's, it's improved, it's much nicer. It's alright getting the conversions, as we will see a lot of conversions come through. But they look beautiful, they look really nice, the textures are really good, the stone is really nice here. I think it's put down its own poured cement over on my gravel. And you can see you see the footing on it isn't all that big. You'll be able to bunch these up pretty close. Doesn't reach out much beyond the actual overlap of the roof. Really nice sheds. You'd have to work hard to get some of these on Zoloinka, but they would fit in great there if you were expanded and built yourself a really, really big farm. I think these are lovely. Definitely worth working into your gameplay, working into your roleplay. Improve your farms, get these going. These are absolutely stunning. I've enjoyed them. I've enjoyed looking at them. I'm sure I'll try and work them into uh, some of my sort of gameplay at some point. Hopefully you guys will too. Hopefully you've enjoyed this as well. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.